Today's video is about the bracket notation, which is a handy tool in quantum mechanics. Usually, we denote vectors as a letter with an arrow on top. This vector lives in a certain vector space, say R3. In quantum mechanics, we deal with an infinitely dimensional Hilbert space and thus infinitely dimensional vectors. To better denote this, we write the name of our vector not below an arrow, but in a so-called ket. These cats behave exactly like you would expect from a vector. You can add them and multiply them with a number. For an inner product of two vectors, you need a bra vector. A bra is a Hermitian conjugate of a cat, and if we multiply a bra with a cat, it looks like this. However, it's not as obvious how to calculate this, like in the case of a vector in R3. This is why we usually make use of an orthogonal basis system. We can expand every vector as a sum over basis elements. If we choose the basis to be orthogonal, we can calculate a bra cat product. Let's say we have an orthogonal basis consisting of two elements, 1 and 2. We take them to be orthonormal, that is, they fulfill the following relations. Now we can define our own vectors. Let v be 2 times 1 minus 3 times 2, and w be 1 plus i times 2. To calculate an inner product, we also need the bra versions, which are given by Hermitian conjugation. This means changing the sign of every i that appears, as well as turning cats into bras and vice versa. Now we can investigate what happens if we multiply the bra v onto the cat w. This gives 2 minus 3i. Here are the results for the other possible combination of products. Next time we will cover operators in the bra cat formulas. So that's pretty much it for this time. Thanks for watching and see you next week. <laughs>